Welcome into another 1031 disc golf video. Today I'm here at Pride's Creek Disc Golf Course and I can't leave until I birdie every single hole. Let's get into it. It is currently 11.18. I don't know if you can see that. The rule is that I can take a mulligan on a hole, but I can only take it on the tee pad. So if I have a putt for birdie and I miss that putt, I have to come all the way back to the start to take my mulligan. On hole one, it's a 519 par four. It's straight out and the, and the basket is out by on the edge of the water. So my first shot is basically just to get as far as I can and then just make my up shot. be a long upshot from there. There's my drive and the basket is right there. All right, let's just park this. I don't want to putt. Get left. Nope, oh, got a putt. As you can see, we're right on the lake. So there's a lot of wind. And if I miss this putt, then I have to go all the way back to uh, the tee pad. So I don't want to do that on hole one. Do it. Yes. Let's go. Starting off with that. One hole down, 17 more to go. All right. Made out of hole one with zero mulligans. Hole two is a par three, 276. It is behind that tree, directly in front. I'm gonna go with a forehand out to the left and let it fade back. Sit. There we go. Yeah, it's like a 10 footer. Park job on hole two. Bingo. Okay. We're here at par three, 348. There's a double mando, and then it goes down this gap of trees and it fades to the left. This one's a tough hole, so let's go with no mulligans again. Ah. Oh. Looks like we're mulligan number one. I hit the gap, but it went way too straight. Now they're racking up, number four. Missed that. We'll go check that one out. This is where my last drive landed, about 20 feet. So let's make this so we don't have to go all the way back up. That would suck. Let's go. There we go. Three holes done. A lot more to go. Hole four, par four, 546. The first shot on this one is just a placement shot. The basket is across the water over there. So I'm just gonna throw it straight for a layup and then go across the water and park it and take a three. Easy as that. Don't skip, don't skip. As long as I didn't get a big skip and went going to the water, that should be very good. There's my drive. There is the basket. As you can tell, I have a big old tree in the way. A little forehand zone through that gap, you know what I'm thinking? Well, might as well try and putt it. All right, this is my putt. Looks like I got a straddle out. Do the flip.
well, it was bound to happen eventually. And it happened on hole four. Looks like I'm going back to the tee pad to do it again. Back here at the tee pad, you guys already know what my plan is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, sit. That one could be in the water, so. This is Mulligan number seven, I think. Get down, get down. Oh, that looks like my first shot, but we'll, ch we'll check it out. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I feel like I'm having deja vu. Fade, fade. Sweet, parked. Woo, about missed it. That would have been bad. Hole five, par three, 273, just straight ahead over this little patch of water. Skip on up there. Parked first shot, let's go. Would you look at that? As parked as you can get right there. Bingo. All right, here a hole six, par three, 306, it's through this gap and it's a little to the left or to the right. I'm gonna try and get a forehand there and if not, then I'll maybe try and do a, four, a turnover backhand. Oh, that's not it. That's not it either. I would have to hit like a 50 footer. What are you doing? Come out of it. Okay, okay. That might be like a 30 footer. This putt is a lot farther than I thought it was gonna be. Big ol' headwind. Do it, yes! Exactly what I needed there. Made it to hole seven, par three, 327. It's up there and to the right and the gap lines up for a, either a turnover backhand or a forehand. It's kind of uphill, so it's kind of a long forehand, so I'm gonna try and do a turnover to scorch. Too much hyzer. See if I can get the pipeline to turn over. Hold it, hold it. Aha. That'll be a long putt. I'll take another one. Ooh, got kind of a long skip, but we'll take that putt. We've been putting good. Let's go. Before we move on to hole eight, I just wanted to let you know that 79% of you watching are not subscribed. So if you guys enjoy the content coming from 1031, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And thank you guys for the support. Hole eight is a 684 foot par four. And as you can see, there's a big water carry, probably like 200 feet at least water carry. Probably one of the hardest birdies on the course. Just want to throw it straight over the water, get as far left as you can, and the basket is over there on the edge of the water. So, let's do it. That's looking good. Never mind, it's not looking good, it's in the water. Hopefully I can get that back. Okay, going with the turn. I really hope I can get that disc back. That's over the water. That's definitely over. It's gonna be a long approach shot. 
Well, unfortunately, I think that first disc, that destroyer is gone because there's just so much moss and stuff you cannot see. So I'm sorry, Skylar. I'm sorry to myself because that was starting to become my favorite disc. <sighs> that stinks. Skylar, can I have that? Sure. <laughs> 20 bucks. <laughs> and my gift to you for your help is this red destroyer that you bombed in one of our yeah, videos. Yeah, that was an older video. That was like during the summer. Yeah. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Top, and this is this one is probably my furthest flying disc in the bag. I can put this on Anheuser and it'll flex out, and or I can just hit it flat. If I hit it hard enough, it'll get a turn on it. All right, here's my second disc, and the basket is right there. Skip. I think that'll be pretty good. All right, we got a 20-footer here for the birdie. Now right to left. Bingo, right on the pole. Hole nine, par four, 700 feet. It's way down there, 700 feet down there. Just throw as far as you can, basically on your first and second shot. And hopefully I have a birdie putt from there. Not if I do it like that. There we go. Stalled out, but it's out there. I got it back. Only losing one disc today. I think that's the last water hole. No, actually there's one more. Okay, this is my shot. And the basket is in there somewhere. Yeah, I think you guys can see it. Oh yeah. Get there. Let's go. Let's go. Full flight out of that, that was beautiful. Do it. Let's go. Man, why can't I not put like this in the past couple tournaments I've played? Okay, hole 10, par three, 228, just up there, just right on the side of this hill. We're at the halfway mark and it's currently 1250. So I've been, so it's been an hour and a half. That's not too bad. I should have that putt. That was not a good throw though. Ooh, barely. There's been a lot of close calls on them today. Hole 11, par three, 237. It's just up and to the right. So I'm gonna go forehand Firebird. Why do I keep doing that today? Skip right. There we go. Like 10 feet. Bingo. Hole 12, par three, 354. It is along this tree line. So it's straight and a little bit to the left. I'm gonna go, oh, we got a headwind. I'm gonna go with my T-bird. That's what I was afraid of. Yeah, that was a bad throw. That thing flipped up on me. That was just a terrible throw.
Why am I throwing it like that? No flip. Don't go in the water. Okay, good. Man. Flip. There we go. Bruh. Please tell me you guys could see that. That. Oh my goodness. Fade. Good. We're good now. There we go. Finally. After throwing like my whole bag. Here on hole 13, finally, par three, 250. Just right there on that hill, there's a little bit of water. If you hit those branches, you're most likely falling in the water. So let's not do that, but let's do it. Got my buzz. Get through it, get through it. Just like I said, hit the branches, you're in the water. Go in. Who? There we go. Take that one. Oh, we got the birdie. Hole 14, par three, 411 foot. This is a crazy, crazy hard par three. It is way to the right and I'll far up there. So I have to do a massive turnover and get distance out of it. This. It's probably gonna take a couple more organs. Hopefully not, but it probably will. That is too far left. Yeah, that shot is still probably like, I don't know, 150 out. It flexed out at the end. That one looked good, but it didn't flex out. Get up there. I'm gonna bring you guys with me because that one's probably a putt. That last one I threw is probably, honestly, the best I can do. And it's still like 50 feet out. So on this hole, I might be taking a mulligan on my putt, but we'll see. Get up. Oh, that was a good bid. I'm gonna take a mulligan on the putt. Get down. I got this, I got this putt. Do it. Yes! Let's go. Hole 15, 276, par three. It's basically these trees make a tunnel that just curves slightly right. So perfect forehand hole. Let's go for it. We're right into a tree. That's always nice. And I hit the next tree. And the same tree again. Oh, maybe I just do turnover. Turn, turn. It would've been nice if it would've turned. And then you go flip here. Oh, come on. <laughs> Get up. 
Keep going. I've already thrown my whole bag, but three discs. Honestly, that one might be one of the better ones. After all those shots, my last shot, the Justice, is the closest. And I have a straight headwind putt. Let's go. Let's go. I guess I can putt, but I can't throw. All right, hole 16, par three, 290. It is on the side of this hill. You could go right up the middle, but I'm gonna go wide out to the right with a hyzer. And we have a right to left wind, so it should help it push there. Looks like I'll be throwing away one more again. Way too wide that time. Okay, if I get one just in the middle of those two throws, be money. Miss. All right, I think I'll take that. Got like a 25 footer uphill. Oh, I thought that was gonna spit out. Thank goodness. Oh, 17, par four, 468. It is way up there by the fence. If you guys can see that big fence area. So basically you throw through this gap and get up as far as you can. This is usually a pretty simple par four. Also a time update, it is exactly two o'clock. So I've been out here two hours and 40 minutes. Should be a simple shot. Just like that. Oh, the joy of a tap-in. We have made it finally to hole 18. It is a par four, 450 feet. Basically like the same as the last hole, just throw it straight as far as you can. It should be a pretty simple up and down. And there we go. Should be all right. My lodge right here, basket's down there. Let's get up and down for the birdie. Threw it low, so let's end it with a putt. All right, this is a lot longer putt than I thought. Yes, let's go. All right, there you have it. There is the, I can't leave until I birdie all 18 holes challenge. I think I only had to go back to the tee pad once. My putter was good today. The number of mulligans would be right here. We'll put it right here. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and now on to the rest of the day. Today's verse of the day comes out of James chapter 5, verses 15 through 16. And it says, And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up, and if they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. I really like this verse because it emphasizes the power of prayer and the power of community. 
The Bible says right here, if we come together and we confess our sins to one another, and then we pray over one another, that we will be healed through the power of Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching 1031 Disc Golf.